All right, so in this last section of this chapter, we want to look at exponents and order of operations. This is, this is key for everything, not just in this class, but this never leaves. Never, ever, ever leaves, and it never changes. Do not think that someone introduces something new and it totally changes what I'm teaching you now. It does not. Okay? But we first will start talking about exponents. Exponents is when you take something like this. If I'm multiplying 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, notice that what I have here is that I have four factors of 3. Remember how we said that factors, a factor was a piece of the multiplication problem, it was a piece of the product? If I'm multiplying and I have the same factor over and over and over again, I can condense this to say something like this. I'll use a superscript for the, what we call the exponent. So this guy here is called the exponent. And the factor that's being repeated is called, it's called the base. So the base is the factor that's being repeated. And the exponent tells you how many times that factor shows up in the product. So it's a, just a shorthand way of showing repeated multiplication with the same factor. Now, let's look at doing some evaluating here. If I ask you to simplify or evaluate this, suppose I ask you to figure out what is 5 to the third. You have to understand what 5 to the third means. What does it mean? It means you have three factors of five. So think about what you said. You said five times five times five, right? This is just multiplication. Nothing to freak out about. What is five times five? So that's 25 times five, and you get about 25, right? You would not believe how many students think that five to the third is 15 or even 75. It's five times five times another five. What if I have two to the fifth power? What does that mean? How many factors of two do I have? I'm supposed to have five factors of two. How do you know you're supposed to have five factors of two? The exponent tells you how many factors of the base you have. So this tells me I need five factors of two. When we see the word factor, that means we're talking about multiplication. So what's two times two? Four times two is eight times two is times two is all together is 32. Don't you guys remember when you turned 32 and you were happy that, hey, I'm a perfect fifth power, and you knew that you would never be another perfect fifth power again because the next perfect fifth power was 243? And you cried that day. How about negative 7 squared? What does this mean? It means negative 7 times negative 7. I have how many factors of negative 7? Two. two. What's negative seven times negative seven? Positive or negative? A positive 49. So far so good? Okay, what is nine to the first power? You have one factor of nine. That means all you have is nine. That's kind of boring. Let's make it more exciting. What if I look at this? 2 times 6 squared. Do you see the exponent? What is the exponent attached to? The exponent is attached to the 6. Is this 2 connected to this 2 out here in front? No. 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 So I still have a 2 
but this is two times, how can I rewrite this to help me? Six times six. Now, we saw this last week where the order of multiplication doesn't matter. So you could say 36 times the two, right? You could also say what? 12 times six. So, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go ahead and say two times 36. I think that's a little bit easier for me. What's two times 36? 72. Had you done it the other way, had you said 12 first, what's 12 times 6? Still 72, right? Isn't multiplication fun? The order doesn't matter. No, order doesn't matter all the time. It's really, I love multiplication. I hope that one of these days you can see things the way I do. Then your life will be happier. It's also a little bit creepier, but there's a happy creepy. I think I embody happy creepy pretty well. Or as one of my students said, I was creepy creepy. Yeah, she called me creepy creepy. And I will never forget her name. Um, I'll probably remember it here in a little bit. So here, I've got negative 5 squared. So, so this guy's going to give me positive 25, right? What about negative 2 to the third? It's what? Understand that this means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. And what does that give me? I heard 8, but I think we mean negative 8, right? Because what's a negative times a negative? Positive. So this positive here times negative gives me negative. So let's finish this. What's 25 times negative 8? Your math can be made easier if you make connections to the real world. First, what's the sign of your answer? It should be negative. When I see 25, my mind goes to quarters. If I have eight quarters, how much money do I have? I got two bills, right? What do you guys think? It's all good in the neighborhood? All right.